Hey guys, um, so <clears throat> here at BWC Flies today, um, we're gonna tie up um, a really simple fly, but a really effective one, the blob. Um, so it's a really good fly I fish this time of year. I've been fishing it a lot this winter and lead up to winter and I'll fish it a bit um, after the, the season closes again. Um, it's a really bold fly. It works really well as an attractor fly, um, but the fish seem to absolutely hammer it as well. So um, we'll tie one up today. Um, so I'm going to tie it on a Hannock 230. Um, there's still water hook. Um, tying it a size 12. I normally do about a size 12, um, but you can upsize or downsize them um, as well. Um, so we'll throw our hook up in the vise. Brett's still got this set this to our salt water size, so I'll have to tighten it right down for a bit. All right. So it's basically a two material fly. It's really easy to do. So we're gonna use our um, Fritz here. Um, so this one's by Yupavon. It comes in a whole bunch of colors. Um, I normally like it in the pinky color, or this one we're gonna tie today is actually a mix of orange and pink, um, so. We'll tie it up. So thread wise, it doesn't really matter. Um, I've got the near uh, Danville's uh, pink um, here, but you don't really see much of the thread, so you can pretty much tie it in whatever you want. So I'm just gonna get that thread started, work it back to about the bend of the hook, cut our tag free. So I've cut a bit of um, the fritz off here. So I'm just gonna strip a bit of that core there to expose a bit of that core so you can see the core there. So we're just going to wind that onto the hook, wind it down, and we'll just work our thread back up to the eye of the hook. We want to leave ourselves a bit of space, so probably leaving two mil off the off the hook there. And then it's simple as just whack, winding on your um, fritz here. So as I wind it, I'm just going to pull back those fibres, um, so we get a nicely sweep back. So I picked up a bit of thread there. So we're just going to keep pulling those fibres back. We're just going to make touching wraps coming up the hook. Like so. So I like to tie these pretty dense. You can you can um, thin them out a bit by just spacing out your wraps a bit more, but I generally like them pretty tight. So we'll just work our way right up to the eye. So, so we'll just <coughs> take a couple of wraps to lock that off now. So we'll go a couple of <coughs> behinds and a couple in front just to pinch that down. So just snip off our excess there. And we just pull back any loose fibres and we'll just build a bit of a head on it. Lock everything down. Like so. pretty much it. Um, now, normally I would whip finish, but I don't think Brett O'Hand whip finishes and I can't. So what I'll do is I'll throw a couple of half, half hitches on it to finish it. Um, but normally I just do a three to four turn whip finish. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Yeah, so we'll just chuck a three turn whip finish on there. done. Snip that off. So you can see it there. That is a famous blob. A lot of people say it looks stupid and they don't know why trout will eat it, but they do eat it. So definitely worth having in the box. Now you can see the length of it there. You can go on with scissors and trim it down to be more of a ball, trim the fibres a bit shorter, leave it long. Lots of different ways to fish it, but um, yeah, it's definitely one that's worth a try. It's been really good for me this season. So yeah, give it a go.